In this next series of tutorial for Team Yankee, I'm going to talk about movement orders. And there's a couple places you can find them. One, of course, is in the rule book. And that's on page 34 and 35. And there's five of them. Another place you can go is you can go to your division card. And on the back, it kind of gives you a highlight of how this maneuver works, which is kind of nice because you keep this on the table to remind you that you can do these. So in this video, I'm going to talk about blitz move. So what we got is we got a unit of BMP2s and this is their unit leader in the middle. And let's say the battle's going and then we're going to pretend like this is an Abrams. So the Abrams is sitting out there and they want to shoot it. Well let's see if they can take out that Abrams. So we go here and yeah 8 to 48 inches. They got one shot 21 anti-tank, pretty good. Three plus firepower. Yeah. They can shoot at it to get three dice. Hope they hit. And look at that, four, three hits. So that's probably gone. But let's change the situation a little bit. Let's say they know that that Abrams is going to try to shoot them, and they had to move. And so they're hiding behind a building. Now you're like, OK. Well, the problem is, if they move, they can't shoot that. So they didn't have a clear shot. They moved up here. Well, this one doesn't have enough maneuverability to get around to get a shot on them, let's say. Somehow, let's channel through here. It decides to hide behind the building. Well, they can't see it. They can't shoot it. And if they move, they can't shoot that anti-tank 21 at it. So what blitz move allows them to do is move and still be able to shoot at their halted rate of fire. So in this case, uh, one. They would still get one shot. If they wanted to shoot this one, they'd get three and three if they were moving to dash three. So by making this blitz move, they have considered not to have moved, and they get to shoot that one shot at this. Now, of course, they're going to have to be eight inches away, but we're just going to pretend. This is just for an example. So how do you do this? Well, what you do is you go to the unit leader for them. And he's got a, uh, oops, got to go transport here. They got a skill level of five. So, and I'm going to get my dice tower out here. I haven't used it in quite a long time. So, if a five or higher is rolled, they get to move four inches. So, they get to move. They're four inches, and they get to move at their halted rate of fire, which is that one shot at anti-tank 22. So we'll just see if I can do it. Hey, all right. So now, who gets to move? Only people in that unit, and only those within six inches of the unit leader get to move. So I roll the six. It's five or higher. I'm fine. They're going to move four, so this one's going to go out here. Look at this, get a shot. This one's going to get a shot. And can he go? Yes, he can go over here and still be in command. So he's within the six inches. Fine. They're all going to get a shot now at this Abrams. So that's how that could be used. Um, now, they can still move again if they wanted to. So. Let's turn this around a little bit. And let's say this one knows it, it, its movement rate brings it to here. If it could just get to here, it can shoot these. It can shoot two of these and take two of these out and probably cause a morale check. It doesn't have enough movement. So what it can do is it can try its blitz move. And we're going to say this is a sense of Abrams, so I think it's like four. So we'll say it's a four. Four or higher, it gets to move four inches. Hey, I'm doing really good today. Of course, I will not be able to do this in a game. And so let's say it only gets to move here, or it gets to move four. So it moves its four, and then it gets its normal rate of moving. Let's say that brings it here. Boom, it's going to get the shots off. 
didn't have enough maneuver movement to get as far as it get it gave you that four extra inches now I can try to take out two of these and cause a morale check now let's say we're back to this situation where they need a five and I'm gonna fail this this time watch yay I failed <laughs> that's kind of weird hearing that but I wanted to fail so what happens if you fail this blitz move well you can you cannot move at dash speed so these BMPs are limited to tactical movement. They cannot do any of these maneuvers here if they fail. Also, they take a penalty of plus one to hit any target as if they were out of command. So they're not in command, plus one to hit. Now, you can do the blitz move successfully, like this one did, and then move again. However, I will say, if it's a dash weapon, this movement of four inches allows you to shoot at your halted rate of fire. But if you move again, now you're shooting at your moving rate of fire. So as long as you do only that four inches and don't move any further, you get your halted rate of fire. Now, not only can vehicles use it, let me get these out of the way, but so can aircraft. So we've got the helicopters here. So one of the things that these helicopters can do is they can land, of course, and it's at the end of the movement, they land, and they're sitting there with the guys in the, the vehicle and I'll go more over using these as transports in a, my transport tutorial but you can try to make that roll and they're a, they're like five plus so let's see oh, almost okay so they make it they land as long as they didn't move before this they land and they have considered not to have moved so the men can get out of the vehicle before, they land, if they did the normal landing, the men had to stand for one turn, then they can leave the next turn, and the helicopters can take off. So this allows the men to, that are being transported in helicopters to disembark pretty quickly. Another thing that aircraft can use, and that's including, well, these don't really loiter all. You have to roll to bring these in, so let me take that out of the picture. These, these are loitering off the table. So there, you decided, you know what, I'm going to take them off and try to bring them in next turn. You can try to bring anything in, not only the helicopters, I'm going to say, also these vehicles, like this here, this gopher. Let's say uh, this applies to those aircrafts that are loitering and also those coming in from reserve. It could be aircraft or it could be something like this or your, your tanks, whatever's in reserve, your BMPs. And what you could do is you could try to make this, move, this roll for them. So we're going to say these guys are in reserve. I made the reserve roll. They're ready to come in. And I need a five plus and I want to do this blitz move with them. So here we go. Oh, I am just doing awesome and I will not be able to do this in a game. So we're going to say this edge over here is where they're going to be able to come in. So they're going to be able to come in, so let's say four inches. Well, what does that get these guys coming in off the table and stuff like that? Well, if we look at the gopher, if they move, they can't shoot. They just made the blitz move. They get to shoot their halted rate of fire. So even though they came in from reserve, and as far as they can move, they'll still get two shots off at 56 inches at an aircraft. So it's a free turn of shooting. If they fail, they still come in and, you know, plus one to hit, which they're not going to be able to shoot anyway. Now, just remember, if they make that and then they move again on that same turn, their normal movement, they don't get, they have to go to their move, their uh, rate of fire for moving. 
So they get that four inches to come in from the edge, and they can shoot as if they didn't move. So they get to shoot their halted rate of fire. Um, that's pretty much all I've got on this video. I will go more into these as transports because there's really a neat thing you can do with these carrying troops and doing blitz move. So I'll cover that when, uh, in my tutorials on using the helicopters as transports. If you like this video or any others I've done, go ahead and subscribe and share with other people. And as always, have a good game.